So two years ago, I was very scared of putting myself out there. I was very shy and anxious. But over time, I managed to escape this mindset. And in this video, I'm going to show you uh, the main reasons why I'm starting a blog. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Paul and I'm a student who dreams about becoming financially free and on this channel we talk about the ways that you can combine learning while uh, starting a business in a happy and productive way. In this video, we're going to talk about my main reasons that I'm starting a blog in 2022. So, let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. So, the first thing people ask when they hear I want to start a blog is is blogging dead? And the simplest answer to that is no. Uh, you can search other people on the internet and they all gonna respond that no, this is not the case. Blogging is pretty much relevant to this day and it's a great source of putting your work out there and reaching to people, meeting other people that have the same passions as you. So, a little bit of information about myself. I am a student in uh, Constanza, a city from the post-communist uh, Romania, and I come from a uh, modest... So, as a child, I was raised with this mindset that sharing something about your life online is really a bad thing and that I would, I would be judged if I did that and so I was very scared to put my work out there and start something like this and now I'm a little bit anxious but I want to get over this period when I'm only thinking about oh what are pe the people gonna say and the questions that come along with starting a project like this. Currently, I'm uh, studying for my uh, admission test in medicine and for my final ex exams uh, because I'm a high school student on in my final year, which basically means I have to learn all of this. And still, with this in mind, I managed to make time for the things that I find important. So the question you're pro probably asking yourself is how to manage your time to fit all this writing, scripting, editing in your schedule while learning for that? And here is my answer. For me, if I say that I don't have time on my hands, basically what I say is that the thing that I want to do is not so important for me and that's why I don't find time to do it because you only need, I think that you only need motivation for the things that you find stressful or hard to do or you don't really enjoy it like no one needs motivation if they, uh, if they are going on a vacation, for example. We often find ourselves saying that we don't have time in situations when the time you have to put for this thing is going to result in long-term benefits rather than short-term benefits. And with this, you don't have immediate an immediate response to all your work and all you all your effort that you put into what you're making and so you tend to procrastinate because all of us are made like that if we don't see immediate results we tend to let it sit somewhere and don't do it there's a story about this topic that one of my friends have told me and uh, mm -hmm. it's about a professor that came into the class with uh, a little glass, a little jar, I think, actually, uh, and he had in another, in some boxes, uh, some pebbles. Then he took the pebbles and poured them into the little jar, and then he asked the class, is this jar full? And the class said, yeah, it's pretty full. And then he took 
another box that contained gravel and then he put the gravel into the jar with the pebbles and then he asked is this glass full and the class said yeah it seems pretty full and then he took another box that had sand in it and he poured it again and asked the class is this full they said yeah it is full now it really is full and then he took uh, uh, I think it was like a can of soda or something and then he took the can and poured the liquid into the jar and it filled to the top and then he said he pointed the jar to the class made to the class and said even though the life may seem sometimes full there also is spare time for you to enjoy a drink with one of your friends. This single story told me a lot about interaction with people and it made me realize that even though we try to work so much and be so productive, we also need to connect to other people because I think this is the essential part of life. So how do I combine learning for medicine with writing for a blog? I find it really helpful in my day-to-day -day life. And this is because I set my mind into writing a blog post every other day. And so this helps me put all my thoughts down on paper and clear my mind and see all my problems written clear on the paper and I can't tell you enough that this is so, so helpful. So what helped me start, in first place, this blog? Recently I read this amazing book called Show Your Work by Austin Kleon, which basically encourages you to start sharing your work. And it helped me a lot. I, this is the only thing I can say to you. And I'm gonna link that video where, where I go more in depth over the lessons that this book teach me in the description below for you to check it out. Now, where do I get my inspiration for writing? Now, this is the simplest question to answer because I find inspiration in myself, in my work and what I do every day. I don't know, I don't have to share some amazing traveling stories or my lunch or something no this is not what i want to do here all i want is for people to see my work and maybe to come i hope to come and talk with me about it because i truly enjoy what i'm doing here and i want to meet other people that share my experiences and the things that i love and to create like nice community. So for answering the actual questions, what inspires me is the thing that I do on the day-to-day -day basis. For example, if I encounter a problem while learning or while, while starting this journey, this business, this small business online, I immediately wrote that problem down. And if I happened to find the solution, I wrote it next to it. And so then I can share all these things that I encountered in my journey and share it with the people that are interested in the same thing. As you can see, I'm not a professional in any of these topics. I'm just a beginner like all of you and by doing this I want to encourage you to start your own thing and to express your thoughts online and expose them for people to see it and to interact with it. Now regarding my goals, I want to tell you that I'm not a huge fan of goals and I think that goals are very important for you to write them down, but not they are not a thing that you're gonna respect if you put like a goal of oh I want to reach 
a thousand followers or I want to reach a million likes. This is not something in your power to achieve. It's more on other people's powers and it's on their hands if they want to like or not. What you can do instead is set goals like I will write down something for 30 minutes every day. You don't risk to get that disappointment and that uh, not so instant response because you don't have some expectation that you are supposed to reach. You just know that you have to do this thing every day for I don't know how long, but I will assure you that this is truly gonna pay off. For my closing thoughts, I want to tell you that I'm so happy and excited for starting this. And although it seems a little overwhelming right now to do all of this, learn for medicine, starting my YouTube, starting a blog, I find it really helpful because it's an opportunity for me to share everything that I made for the past years and I don't know, I'm so happy and I can't wait to connect to you guys and reach the new people and meet new people and see what their thoughts on my work are and I don't know just making this community and enjoying it so if you enjoyed this video you can check out the, the other video where I share my thoughts and my opinion where uh, about the book show your work by Austin Cleon which you can check out right here and that was it thank you for watching See you the next time.